Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Now let's start the video with the first question The surface area of a spherical ball bearing in diagram 1 increases at the rate of 4.2 pi cm squared per second when heated Fine, the rate of change of the radius of the ball bearing when its radius is 3 cm So it is given that dA over dt equals to 4.2 pi Then, we are required to find the rate of change of the ball bearing so dr over dt because it is radius so it is unknown as we can see from the area of the spherical ball which is 4 pi r squared we can differentiate it to the respect of r and become dA over dr equals to 8 pi r next we apply it to the chain rule as you can see, this is the original chain rule for this question. So, when we are required to find dr over dt, we move the dA over dr to the left hand side. So, it will become dr over dt equals to dA over dt divided by dA over dr. Now, let's insert the value. So dr over dt equals to dA over dr, right? So dA over dr, our value is 4.2 pi. So 4.2 pi, we divide by 8 pi r, because dA over dr, right? So 8 pi r. Don't forget that it is given that the radius of it is 3 cm. So we insert it. This R, you convert it into 3. And then, when we divide, we will get the answer 0 0.175 cm as negative 1. Next, find the corresponding rate of change of the volume of the ball bearing. So from the question, we are required to find dV over dt. As we insert the ancient rate, it will become dV over dt equals to dv over dr times dr over dt this equation was the same as the first question we used the chain rule so dr over dt we already got from the first question which is 0 0.175 so to find dv over dr we need to find it from the formula of the volume given which is 4 over 3 pi r cube so v equals to 4 over 3 pi r cube so dv per dr equals to 4 pi r squared now we substitute r with 3 so 3 to the power of 2 equals to 9 so 9 times 4 equals to 36 pi now to find dv over dt we substitute the value so equals to 36 pi times by 0 0.175 so it will give us 6.3 pi as it is the range of change of volume over time so the unit is cm3 per second Done. Okay, for the question 4, given that y 3x squared plus x minus 4, a find the value of dy over the x minus x equal to 1. b express the approximate change in y in terms of p when x change from 1 to 1 p, 1 plus p, when p is a small value. a Dia punya equation dah bagi 3x squared plus s minus 4 daripada Sebab equation tu Kita kena Tukarkan kepada dy over dx Saya nak tukar 3x squared tu Squared tu sudah bawa ke depan Jadi 2 darab 3x Start positif x jadi positif 1 Negatif 4 tu 0 sebab apa 0 Differentiation ni dia kena kurangkan nombor of x je Kalau tak ada x hanya 0 Ok So kita dapat lah 
You work over the essay, sis x plus y. Daripada x daripada equation you work over the x ni, kita masukkan kepada value x ni daripada 1, 1. Okay. Jadi, 6 dapat 1, nombor 1 dapat 6, dapat 7. Nah, sama V, V pula, X dia sama dengan 1, delta X dia sama dengan P. Which is, macam nak cari P tu, tambah, tolak je. 1 plus P, tolak dengan 1. Jadi, dapat P. Sudut satu kosong. Kosong guna positif P, P. Okay, macam nak cari delta, maksud cari delta Y. Kita cari data Y tu yang guna equation ni. dy over dx multiply by delta Y. Okay, kita dapat dia punya dy over dx which is 6x plus y and delta x dapat p. Jadi, 6x plus y tu dah berkenaan dengan p. Lepas tu, x, x dekat equation tu masukkan dengan value x yang satu. Dapatlah 7 darab dengan P jadi 7P lepas tu seterusnya when S equal to 1 Y equal to 3 X squared plus 1 minus 4 kita masukkan value of X dekat dalam equation Y ni 1 maksudnya 3 darab 3 multiply by 1 squared Plus 1 minus 4 lah. Dapatlah Y equal to 0. Opposite value dia Y 0 plus 7P. Uh, therefore. So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, due to our shortage in equipment, we are going to present our teaching in an old fashioned way. So, let us begin. Okay, we continue with the question number 7. Uh, so, the question is, Y is equal to 3 plus 14X minus 2X cubic. So, what we, what we must to do first, thing first, we must to do is differentiate it. So, we're gonna be differentiate it. Okay, simple. Negative 6 x plus 14 okay and when x is equal to we only need to sub it plus 14 jadi ne negative 24 plus 14 is negative 10 y dx Alright, this is for question number A. Alright, we continue with question uh, 7B. Express the approximate change in y in terms of k when x change from 2 to 2 plus k where k is a very small value so what we must to do first for the formula is delta y equal to dy per dx multiply with delta x so uh, what we get from uh, previous uh, dy dx so the value is negative 10 multiply with delta x jadi delta x is k so the answer is negative 10 k so uh, for the change in uh, change in, in y what we must to do for the formula of uh, approximation is y new equal to y original plus with delta y 
So the Y uh, original We must use up with 2 So for the Y ori We will start with 3 Plus 14 2 Minus 2 okay. And the answer is 15 so for the y new 15 plus with delta y delta y is negative 10 k and we will get 15 minus 10 k that's all eh? all right uh, so that's all from us I hope that all of you can understand what we present today. So, thank you. Question 10, SPM 2011. It is given that y equal to 10 minus 12 over x. Find a small change in x in terms of p when y changes from 4 to 4 plus p. So, here we can see that uh, it is given equation. And we must find the small change in x. But the question give me the, give us the equation of y. So we need to change the equation from y to x. So y equal to ten minus twelve over x. So y minus 10 equal to negative 12 over x x equal to 12 over 10 minus y okay so um after we have changed the equation we must differentiate it so that it will became dx over dy because the equation just now is x equal to 12 10 minus y power of negative 1 because it is a fraction and we move it to the up so it will become negative 12 10 minus y here we minus one and then we will get negative twelve over this is negative ten minus y to the power of two. Okay. Next um we need to use the formula to search the for the small change the formula is delta x equal to dx over dy times delta y okay so we have found the dx over dy now delta we can obtain delta y from the equation delta y is equal to 4 plus p minus 4 so obviously delta y is p okay so um the origin of the y is 4 so we just um, insert the 4 into the dy with the y as the unknown so um, delta x equal to negative 12 over 10 minus 4 squared times p so when you solve the equation you will get negative 12 over 30 
six times p. So at last you will get three one negative p over three. So your delta x is negative three negative p over three. Okay. So that's all. Thank you.